Most of the wealthy men of the last century who bought for their own satisfaction the masterpieces of European collections ended by presenting their purchases to their cities or to their towns. Hi, I'm Herman Eberhardt, the museum curator here at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Presidential Library and Museum, and I'm going to be taking you on a short tour of our new special exhibition, which focuses on art that was collected and treasured by the Roosevelts. I'm standing in the completed gallery, but we thought we'd show you how it all came together. The museum staff had to select from among hundreds of paintings owned by the Roosevelts to get down to the 22 that are featured in the exhibition. The exhibit was built around the idea of stories. We were looking for pieces of art from the museum collection that were treasured by the Roosevelts that had a personal story connected to them. Michelle Frauenberger, our collections manager, and Catherine Sardino, our museum technician, then installed all of the art in the exhibition space. Our exhibit specialist, Jim Sauter, found a way to take these 22 paintings and install them into a rather small space while maintaining thematic areas while giving each painting its own space to tell its story. In the end, we have a room full of stories that tell you interesting things about both Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt. This beautiful portrait of Eleanor Roosevelt by Otto Schmidt is a perfect example of the kind of painting we were looking for for this exhibition. This was FDR's favorite portrait of his wife. It was given to him in January 1933 as a gift from his children. When he saw it, he was immediately struck by it and eventually had it hung in the White House where it's remained throughout his presidency. Interestingly, Eleanor's reaction to this portrait was quite different. She burst into tears when she saw it and claimed it made her look too beautiful. This painting of a Venetian bridge by artist Charles Stuart Forbes offers us another kind of perspective on Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt. In addition to being an artist, Forbes was a member of the extended Roosevelt family. He presented this painting to Franklin and Eleanor as a wedding gift in 1905. Perhaps knowing that the young couple planned to spend part of their extended honeymoon in Europe in Venice. We present the painting along with a photograph of Eleanor Roosevelt in a gondola during their honeymoon in 1905. This photograph was taken by FDR and the scene is somewhat reminiscent of the scene you see in the painting. No consideration of the art of the Roosevelts would be complete without a few examples of the naval and maritime art collected by Franklin Roosevelt. This Bernard Gribble painting is unique among the collection in that it is one of the few paintings that FDR actually commissioned. This was a lifelong interest of his and our collection includes hundreds of paintings that he collected throughout his life. If you crush individuality in society, you crush art as well. If you nourish the conditions of a free life, you nourish the arts also. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the installation of a new exhibit here at the Franklin D. Roosevelt Presidential Library. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the only thing we have to do is...